Well, I think part of the reason why AJ is expanding in Asia is we see a huge wealth of opportunities in Asia. So when you think about a lot of media jobs, it's actually happening right now. In, you know, beyond the U.S. is you know in Asia, and I think for aspiring journalists in Asia is to really join AJA and come to a conference like N3Con. Why? Because you get a chance to connect with not only local journalists but journalists from other places. I mean, think about the diversity of audience. We have people from Korea, we have people from Indonesia, we have people all the way from Africa, as well as the U.S. So when you think about the confluence of journalism, this is actually quite international, in fact more international than U.S. in many aspects, and you get to meet a lot of the different chiefs. So I think, you know, for aspiring journalists is to actually pay attention to who's next to you, because that person could give you a job and you don't even know it. Conference had gotten bigger and more successful, and, you know, last year was the first year that we introduced a leadership roundtable featuring um, all the major media, global media companies, um, chief, and this year we're repeating again. I think, you know, for a fact that we have chief flying here from Bangkok, from other places, it's a sign that they think this is important because they want a more diverse talent pool beyond the ones that they have now. Um, and you look at programming, you know, we think about what's relevant and on point right now, right? From TNM Square to how do you um, protect sources to, you know, Google for journalists. These are all very contemporary skill set that every single journalist should have. So it's not just about skill building, but it's also about networking and how do you market yourself and how do you exercise some of your soft skill to really get the job in Korea that you want.